Hey everyone, it's Richard Metal Fan here, bringing you guys an old school album review. And I'm going to be looking into an album that I know a lot of people are probably going to give me hell for, and I'm probably going to lose some subscribers, but I really don't give a fuck. And it's actually only, the only album for them I actually like from this band. And this album had turned 20 this year, which is pretty nuts that this album is 20 years old. So as you can see below the title, today we're going to be looking into... Infest by Papa Roach. This was the band's breakthrough album released on April 25th, 2000 through DreamWorks Records. Now, Papa Roach definitely doesn't need an introduction if you're a fan of new metal at the time. That whole, th they're, they're a band that formed in Vacaville, California in the, the mid 90s and stuff. And they had like some releases like before that, that but there, and there wasn't until around the, the, late, the late 90s where they got signed and they put out. Uh, their second this is actually their second album follow-up to their first album which came out in 97 called um i can't never remember the title the old friends for new fears or i can't even fucking remember the title but yeah this album was i think was like probably one of those first bands for me that really got me into like harder sounding music before metal came over took over my life i remember blasting that like in the first two lincoln park albums and evanescence has fallen those were pretty much really those bands that really got me into more heavy, heavier stuff. If it wasn't for that, I wouldn't get into like more, like, I would discover more metal and get into like the metal that I am today. But yeah, this album was a really huge hit for them and that pretty much what made Papa Roach what they are today. Uh, the vocals, I mean, Jacoby Shaddix, I mean, who at that time, his nickname was Kobe Dick. <laughs> like, I just love his flow. Like, he does like really great, great singing and I think he's a hell of a vocalist and I just love his flow when he does his rap vocals it's just great the guitar work is pretty solid and just pretty but it's pretty simple um the bass wise the bass is pretty audible but on here and the drumming is just tight so without further ado let's dive into the sound track by track now starting things off is the title track infest Fest, which starts off kind of a little bit weird but then it just boom hits you right in the face Really just shows Jacoby be showing his rapping abilities in this one. One, and I just think it's a, just hit you right in the face. Good way to start off this this album. And then we go into uh, Last Resort, which is pretty much one of their most well-known songs. Hungs. And this is, I don't know, it's just a really catchy riff, especially that guitar line that... Now, and pretty much, this is actually, honestly, the first song I ever heard from them. And, and of course, we also know this song is pretty much blessed, like, a lot of, a lot of like, me memes and stuff, like, cut my life into pizzas. Says, <laughs> which, I don't know. That just sounds silly, but it's a pretty solid song. Next song on the album is called Broken Home. Now, now this is pretty much one of their best sort of, like, slowish songs to come from it. Now, lyrically, I feel like it talks about how Jacoby talks about his life and how he struggles being in a broken home and with his pa with parents and shit. It, but yeah, but I just like how like the music music behind it is pretty solid, lit and pretty dope. Um, next song in here is Dead Cell. Now, this song pretty much made into like a Tony Hawk game or something. I can't remember which one. And this is, I just really like the main riff and it's sounds very much upbeat. And the bass riff and the chorus follows. Those the drums very nicely actually, and the, the tiny little bridge section which repeats the intro a bit before breaking into a new verse. There's it's a not bad at all. And anyway, moving on to Between Angels and Insects, which is another one of Paul Roach's well-known songs. And this song pretty much has like a little bit of a darker vibe to it, especially in the opening part with Jacoby's singing voice. And the and I just feel like that one intro riff kind of reminds me a little bit of like pro, like a Prowler from Iron Maiden. It just sounds totally like that. That I mean, the the main riff and chorus is just pretty slow and somewhat chuggy, but I like it. And the lyrics feel like kind of deals with society and sort of like the ills of it. And it goes into a bridge. One of the rarest things you ever hear is a bass solo, but I just like that the placement of it, its simplicity. And we get like two more courses where we fade out with some really good bass line from Tobin. Then and it just does. I just like how it, like the bass work behind sort of like the guitar is doing like the main riff higher up, which is very nice indeed. Next song on here is Blood Brothers, which this song has an amazing guitar intro. It sets up for like the whole song and the verse sounds a little bit muddy, but the chorus and the bit makes up the end, makes it kind of like a great punk metal screaming 
Ming song that these guys are pretty much so used to, or pretty much well known for, I should say. Um, Revenge is the next song, which I love this, the intro to this. It, the way it sort of like builds up and has like a second guitar part with the way wall, bleh, with the wall sort of like behind it all. And I feel like lyrically, it, it sort of like talks about some girl who has an abusive boyfriend and stuff. And the guitar line is pretty melodic. I think for being like the new metal at the time, time this whole thing album came out it has like a somber feel to it and the bridge comes up with a main riff which getting slightly heavier before breaking into this sort of like hip-hop-ish section which has a tremolo picked guitar and then the thick bass line to sh and just a straight rap before like breaking back into like a heavier main ri riff if in a second not quite br a bridge sort of like comes up towards the end before hitting like a Another chorus, one of the better efforts, even sort of like the like a little bit of that weird section that a lot of people would think in the middle. Um, Snakes is in that next song, which is very hip hoppy in like the verses and a good rocking chorus. And so it makes up yet yeah, another part of the bulk that makes such an awesome album. Um, next song in here is Never Enough, which I don't know. <laughs> I just I just think the verses are just catchy. You just can't keep humming to it. When the, it's just so intense and timid and just waiting for the chorus to angrily start thrashing. Anyway, next song on the album is called Binge. And I feel like, lyrically, I feel like this talks about like alcoholism and stuff. And this, the, the guitar riffs is just pretty catchy, especially in like the verses and even the chorus is really great. Right, another good song. Next song on here, then the, the album closes with Thrown Away, which it takes some time to get used to, but after the words and the music, it pretty much blends nicely and becomes a very good way to end the album strongly. And the screaming part in the end is pretty good. Good, and I just love how Jacoby just is all, like all over this place on the song. Just like his flow is just perfect. Just spitting out just his raps is just great. And then the album has like a hidden track at the end, which is called Tightrope, which kind of sounds very reggae-ish. Ish, but... I don't know. It's just a weird song, but I somewhat like it. Okay, but yeah. Now, overall, Infest by Papa Roach is just a nostalgic album for me. And like I said, this is the only album from them I actually really like. I feel like after this, they kind of went to shit, but that's just me. Yeah, and I, I really would love to see them do an Infest 20-year tour if this whole virus thing goes away. Hey, those would be the only reason I would actually see them. So yeah, if I were to give this album a score, I'm surprised they would give this probably a solid 10 out of 10. 10 just because of I, I don't know it's just really catchy on that a line I would say it's kind of a guilty pleasure so yep yeah, that's my review of infest by Papa Roach guys let me know in the comments what you guys think about it and I'll see you all in the next video and as always keep it metal